so the USB has done uh, and now uh, I will be putting up the USB in the Dell T55 one and power it up and uh, by the way I did power up the uh, those two devices as well so let me just uh, set it up here like this and by the way uh, these computers they do uh, have uh, they do take time when they uh, boot up so uh, press the F12 key uh, to go into the uh, BIOS setup and we want to be going to the system setup so press enter and first thing you might want to be doing is to you know like load the defaults because uh, it it just resets everything clear all the settings uh, that came with the uh, computer when it was being used so load all the default settings and click on exit that's the first uh, step that you want to be doing uh, so uh, that ensures that the uh, default settings are loaded and none of the other crap garbage settings whatever the settings were previous before have been loaded because uh, we want to be setting these up from scratch so uh, uh, remember because we uh, we want to be uh, using a render farm uh, and we forgot the F10 key uh, let me just do it once again so here we are in the BIOS setup uh, so first things uh, that we want to be doing uh, what you want to be doing is you know checking up the system that everything uh, has booted and loaded correctly there you can see the information regarding the RAM installed and the BIOS version and how many uh, slots and the amount of memory module RAM uh, per slot is installed uh, in this machine which is 4 GB uh, per memory module and it's showing the uh, two empty slots and the CPU uh, one and the CPU two which is the Xeon X5670 uh, it, uh, currently this machine has x5675 3.07 gigahertz uh, which is hexed and this is a 64 bit machine and you generally uh, can use uh, these options I will be using the uh, turning off the floppy disk or boot disk and uh, maybe just that and then I will be checking up going through the uh, drives and uh, USB read on you can particularly set this to AHCI uh, but I'm not going to do any of these settings but particularly I am interested in the setting is uh, performance and then multi threading hyper threading you want to be turning on these hyper threading technology and the because uh, when it comes to rendering uh, you will not get the full CPU power if you do not turn on the hyper threading and uh, when uh, in the memory uh, node 
you want to be using the noma n u m a noma node because uh, i believe so in the uh, when it comes to the simulation process uh, processing uh, this uh, can benefit from the simulation you know sometimes uh, simulation uh, can be improved using the noma node and you can read uh, more it on the google and the other thing visualization i will be turning this on and this on and that's probably uh, the setting that that's i will be using in the bios version and maintenance uh, yeah. fast boot keyboard log f12 uh, keyboard error detection i will be turning this off uh, because i will not be using uh, because these uh, are the render slaves and i do not want them to pop up messages uh, every time i start uh, the computer because uh, I will not be plugging uh, a, a monitor to these computers uh, they will be uh, once I uh, install windows and uh, do setup they will just be uh, as a render slave and I will be using the windows uh, remote desktop to access them so uh, these features can you know uh, when turned on might be possible that i will get a keyboard error and the computer will not boot so i have to then use the uh, monitor the other monitor to uh, go into the bio setup and or to disable this or to use a keyboard or a mouse on all of these machines with which I do not plan to do. So uh, uh, I've turned this off and that's it.